Eastern Europe, 66 million years ago. A vast archipelago inhabited by many different types of flora and fauna. In solar isolation protects most creatures from predators that would otherwise dominate on the mainland. Whereas other continents had giants like Tyrannosaurus rex and Mapusaurus rosei, no such large mega predators stalk these islands. Yet that does not mean all is safe. For stalking the skies above the ancient Tethy Sea was a monster. One of the largest animals to ever take to the skies, as tall as a modern day giraffe and with a wingspan as wide as an airplane, not a single animal in Europe was safe from Hatsigopteryx, the Romanian dragon. Whoa. In the decades that followed, Hungarian paleontologist Franz Natska von Felso Silva's discovery of the Hatsek Basin in Transylvania, Romania, pterosaur fossils were initially quite rare. However, that would all change in the late 1970s, when a team of students discovered and excavated some exceptionally large bones from the Densus Kula formation. The remains from this specimen, FGGUBR1083A, which consists of an upper left humerus and the back of the skull, were first believed to have belonged to some kind of dinosaur and was announced to the public as such in 1991. However, after the discovery of what was potentially a second smaller specimen being found, in addition to the original specimen being examined further, led to the description of a gigantic as darked pterosaur in February of 2002, named Hatsigopteryx thambima meaning the Hatsik Basin's winged monster. Since the description of Hatsigopteryx, two other specimens have been found in the San Petru and Sebez formations, and were described between 2010 and 2013. The specimen found in San Petru consists of a scapula coracoid, where the specimen found in Sebez consists of a single large neck vertebra. In 2017, other paleontologists suggested that these specimens did not in fact belong to Hatsigopteryx thembima. However, due to the lack of evidence for a second large pterosaur as well as similarities in the internal bone structure, it has since been described as a Hatsigopteryx of indeterminate species. In 2018, two fused mandibles from a giant pterosaur were announced and discovered in the Densus Kula formation. Like the other specimens that cannot be defined, it can't be confidently described as Hatsigopteryx due to the fact not much skull material is known. However, its discovery does imply that Hatsigopteryx may have had a shorter and more blunt skull in life if this is indeed a Hatsigopteryx specimen. In addition to these new specimens, more pterosaur genera from the Hatsig Basin have been described after its discovery, showing that pterosaur fossils were not as extremely rare as were once thought. Due to the lack of remains found from the holotype specimen and other indeterminate specimens found, the size for Hatsigopteryx can vary significantly depending on the estimate used. This is especially the case for the wingspan. In 2002, it was originally estimated to have had a wingspan of approximately 12 meters or 39 feet, the same as its close relative from North America, Quetzalcoatlus. However, Due to the size of the left humerus from the holotype specimen, its wingspan has reduced to around 9 to 10 meters, or 29 to 33 feet, in the following decade. In 2018, the same paper that described the large mandible, the wingspan for Hatsigopteryx was estimated to be even smaller at possibly just 8 meters, or 26 feet. But as of now, it seems the 9 to 10 meter estimate is the most widely accepted estimate. Putting wingspan aside, Hatsigopteryx is also an incredibly tall animal. It has been estimated to be just as tall as a giraffe at around 4.8 to 5 meters, 16 to 18 feet in height, with a body length of around 5.6 meters or 18.4 feet, and it would have weighed around 200 to 250 kilograms, roughly 440 to 550 pounds. While not as large as Quetzalcoatlus or Arambergiania in terms of wingspan, Hatsigopteryx outclassed both pterosaurs by weight, making it the heaviest animal to ever take to the air. Mm -hmm. 
Hatsigopteryx is one of the larger members of a large group of pterosaurs known as Asdarkids. They are one of many family groups of almost completely toothless pterosaurs known as Asdarkoids. This clade also contains other lineages, such as the Tapaharamorphs and the Sungaripterids. Asdarkids first branched off from a closely related sister group of pterosaurs called the Chalyongopterids in the early Cretaceous of 125 million years ago. While we still have yet to find a common ancestor for both groups, this phylogenetic grouping has been accepted by many paleontologists for several decades. Along with the Chiangopterids, the first Asdarkids known appeared in the fossil record 108 million years ago. As other pterosaurs went extinct between the early and late Cretaceous, Asdarkids along with another group of pterosaurs, the Pteranodontoids, would persist all the way until the Maastrichtian stage of the late Cretaceous. Earlier, in the late Carnassian stage, the first Quetzalcoatlin as Darkid would appear. The recently named Thanatodrakin would be the first member of this subfamily to evolve. They, along with Hatsigopteryx, would later conquer the world as being the only mainland pterosaurs left. The group Quetzalcoatlinae contains several other taxa such as the likes of Arambergiania, Quetzalcoatlus itself, and the also recently named Cryodrakin and Dwellinopterus. Hatsigopteryx would have inhabited a prehistoric island in the late Cretaceous corresponding to the modern-day Hatsig Basin in Romania, which makes up five different fossil formations, including the three of which Hatsigopteryx was found in. With all five of these formations combined, Franz Nopska and other paleontologists believe that thanks to the marine deposits, Hatsigopteryx inhabited a large island that's known as by many today as Hatsig Island. This large island is believed to have first formed in the Cenomadian stage in the beginning of the late Cretaceous. At the time, Hatsig Island was part of a vast archipelago that would have represented the only parts of Europe that were above sea level at the time. Europe had remained this way since the supercontinent, Pangaea, split apart in the early Jurassic. Depending on the size of the islands and the amount of resources on those islands, some, if not most dinosaurs, had inhabited these tropical regions exhibiting a feature known as insular dwarfism, a condition where due to the lack of resources, large animals tend to grow smaller on island environments. Romania's Hatseg Island, in particular, contains dinosaur fossils showing one of the earliest examples of this. While the size of Hatseg Island has been debated for many years, it's widely believed that Hatseg Island was similar in size to the modern-day island of Hispaniola in the Caribbean. Unlike most islands in the ancient Tethy Sea, Hatseg Island was actually surrounded by deep ocean. Additionally, carbon isotopes indicate that the environment of Hatseg Island was dry woodland and seasonal rivers and lakes showing that the island's fauna had to deal with a dry and wet season. Older rock layers show heavy volcanism, which is how all islands form. However, the volcanic activity on Hatseg Island began to cease around the time the island's local fauna arrived. The fauna that can be found on Hatseg Island is quite unusual. While there's a lot of more common animals such as amphibians, turtles, lizards, and snakes like Nidophis, along with mammals like Barbatodon and crocodilians like Allodapusuchus, they are not at all unusual to find on island environments. However, birds like Gargantiatavis look like it came from the wrong time period. Gargantiatavis was a tall, flightless bird that resembled modern-day paleonaphs, like ostriches in terms of appearance. Outside of birds, non-avian theropods are actually quite common as well. A lot of theropods on the island are currently either unnamed or enigmatic due to poor remains, such as Elopteryx. The most valid theropods, on the other hand, are the insect-eating Alvarosaurs, Bradygneme, and Heptastiornis. The most well-preserved and unique theropod on Hatseg would go to the Humanoraptor and Balor Bondic, known for its special two-row set of sickle claws. Rhabdodontids serve as not only the most common Ornithischians, but also the most common herbivores on the island. They are the direct descendants of the already extinct Iguanodontids. This makes them relics compared to the other dinosaurs that lived during this time. Salmoxes, Rhabdodon itself, and the recently named Transylvaniosaurus all have a diverse advantage as opposed to the Hadrosaurs on this island. Telmatosaurus is only one of two Hadrosaurs that have been discovered on Hatseg. Reaching only 5 meters, 16 feet in length, it was only a quarter of the size of its mainland relatives. Another Ornithischian found on Hatseg would be the Nodosaurid Struthiosaurus. 
Just like Telmatosaurus, Struthiosaurus is only one of two notosaurid ankylosaurids described from the island. Struthiosaurus, like Rhabdodon, can be found nearly all across southern Europe, known by several different species that have been discovered in Spain, France, and Austria. Sauropods are the largest animals to inhabit the island, so far only two of which have been described, Paluta Titan and Megurosaurus. Both animals are estimated to be around 6 meters or 20 feet. While both sauropods may have been the biggest animals on the island, they were actually two of the smallest sauropods known from this time as their mainland relatives reached a minimum size of 50 to a maximum of 100 feet in length. Like Struthiosaurus, the tough dermal armor that surrounds the torso of Megurosaurus serves as protection from predators. This is especially the case for younger individuals, due to the predators that stalk Taxeg Island. While large theropods dominated other regions in the world, Pterosaurus served as the apex predators of the island instead. Only three have been described from the island. Eurus Darko, the recently named Alba Draco, and Hatsigopteryx itself. All three of these pterosaurs competed for the same food source on the same island, which would have been any animal that they could swallow. The dense bones of Hatsigopteryx allowed it to specialize with hunting decently sized dinosaurs. Due to the massive wingspan and overall size of Hatsigopteryx, it's also believed by many to have traveled to other islands too, making it an island-hopping pterosaur that may have played the role as apex predator on other European islands too. Hatsigopteryx didn't actually appear in a lot of media immediately after its publication in 2002. However, because of its massive size, it was popular because of its potential to rival Quetzalcoatlus in wingspan. Its popularity would skyrocket even more after being featured in the 2011 BBC dinosaur documentary series, Planet Dinosaur featured in the final episode titled Great Survivors. It would be depicted hunting and swallowing a Megurosaurus whole. For a while, it wouldn't appear in another documentary until the 2022 to 2023 Dinosaur Nature documentary series Prehistoric Planet. In seasons one and two, Hatsigopteryx was featured in the Forest and Islands episodes. Respectively, it would be portrayed hunting Zalmoxis and it would also be depicted as an island hopper, hunting Tethys Hadros, a hadrosaur from Italy. As for video games, Hatsigopteryx would be first featured in Fossil Fighters Champions as the vivisaur known as Hopter. It would then later appear in the Ludia Mobile Games Jurassic World The Game and Jurassic World Alive. Hatsigopteryx is a very unique pterosaur. From serving as the apex predator of the island that it inhabited to the potential for this massive reptile to travel thousands of miles to other islands for food, it was indeed a terrifying predator that nobody would wish to encounter in the air. However, just like 75% of all living things that existed at the end of the late Cretaceous, Hatsigopteryx, along with the rest of its ecosystem, went extinct at the end of the Mesozoic era 66 million years ago when a giant meteorite crashed into the Yucatan Peninsula in the Gulf of Mexico. The Chicxulub meteor would slam into the Earth with the power of 10 million Hiroshima atomic bombs. This force created a cloud of debris that covered the atmosphere, collapsing and deteriorating environments across the world. Atseg Island was one of those many environments to suffer. Atsegopteryx, along with many other large predators that lived during this time, would be forced into extinction. Millions of years later, after Hetzeg Island formed into what we know today as Romania, tales of great dragons flying reptiles that soared in the skies would be told for generations. Little did they know that millions of years prior, in an age long gone, a real flying reptile dominated their skies above. And that reptile was Hatsigopteryx, the Romanian dragon. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed it and found it super informative and entertaining. The crew for this video are Spino Dragon and the Primal Earth as editors, myself as the narrator and graphic designer, and also the Primal Earth as the video's director. Be sure to hit the notification bell as well as like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I am the Dinosaur Hunter, your host for this video, and I will see you in the next one.